Hey guys, it's Abby, and today I have a new subscription box to show you guys on my channel. I found this subscription by watching Sandra from My Real California Life. It's a channel here on YouTube. She showed this box and she really liked it, so I decided to check it out. This box has two different subscriptions. This box is called Glow Addict Beauty Box, and one of their subscriptions, you get five to seven products a month, from the best indie brands to the brands we know and love, and that one is $18.99 a month and you can get and you're supposed to get eighty dollars you're supposed to get eighty dollars worth of retail value in your box then another subscription which is called the glow addict beauty bag and it is packed full of four to six luxury and full-size items delivered to your door every month of course and it's $13.99 a month I believe that I paid shipping I don't remember actually I don't remember if I paid paid shipping or not. Let me just see. I don't remember if I paid shipping. I did get a mystery bag and I paid $4 and 56 cents in shipping. So I'm assuming I paid shipping for this, but I'll make sure to leave all the information in my description box. But oh my gosh, every single time I keep moving my, my hair back, I keep pulling on my earrings. Um, I'll make sure to link everything in my description box so you guys can get more information about it. But I thought I would unbox it for you guys today. This is what it looks like. And let's see what I received in this box. I do have the larger box, which is $18.99, and I purchased a three-month subscription of this so we can look at it for three months, see what everything is, see if we like the products, and then we'll make our decision after three months. So this is the Glow Addict Beauty box, and this is what it looks like. Something fell out. Hold on. This is what it looks like when you open up the box. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys this before I begin my unboxing because I did the Balzano unboxing before this one and I explained the same thing, but I'm going to do it again. My children are on their second day of spring break. So if you hear them, you hear loud noises, you hear coughing, you hear anything going on, it's my children or my cats, but we're on day two after a weekend of candy and Easter eggs. So I'm wearing my pajamas. Literally my pajama shirt, my pajama pants, and I have a full face of makeup with jewelry. So all of this from right here, from my neck up, is ready, set, and go. The rest on the bottom is I'm ready to roll back into my bed and lay there for the rest of the night. Okay, so here is the description card, and it tells you everything that's in your box as well as retail value. And let's begin. So the first thing I am seeing is this. And this is the Lashy box. It's, um, I have stuff on my shirt. It's the makeup removing cloth. This retails for $5. We teamed up with our sisters at Lashy box to bring you this, this skincare essential. Dampen the towel to remove your makeup with no other products needed. So this is one of those makeup remover cloths. You just dampen it like they just said and it takes off your makeup without having to use any sort of like micellar water or makeup remover. I've used one before and it did not take my makeup off without anything extra on it, but we'll try this one. I hear a child. We'll try this one and see if it works. The next thing is this and this is the Sorme Lip and Cheek Velvet Stick in the shade Naughty. This says it retails for $19. Use on lips and or cheeks to enhance and create amazing pops of color. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Or ow. I painted my nails again. Why? I don't know. They just get ruined within a day. Okay. But you know what it is? I started painting my nails. And now I feel like I need to have my nails painted for every video because when they aren't painted, they look atrocious. Okay, so this is what the lip and cheek product looks like. And, oh, I don't know if I'll put that on my cheeks. This might be like for contour. So this is what it looks like. And there it is on my hand. That's just, just like more of a shimmery bronzer. Okay, the next thing are these, and you do get lash adhesive. This is Jackie Love Faux Mink Lashes. And these are our favorite Vegan Queen's new line of cruelty-free lashes. They're actually really beautiful. And they do give you adhesive, which is good because a lot of people don't. Those are really pretty. Those are long. Like these lashes, these are long. These, they're in the, the style of these is called Storm. 
but look how long they are. That's like a head of hair right there on my, I would, I would be afraid of my eyes would look like a tarantula. Okay. The next thing is this, and this is the, um, naked cosmetics, naked cosmetics, HD finishing powder, and it's in banana and banana powder sets your makeup to help keeping, to help keep you look looking flawless all day. Oh wait, I'm not telling you guys how much everything retails for. The lashes retail for $15. The makeup remover cloth retails for five. The Sorme lip and cheek thing retails for 19. I wouldn't pay 19 for this. And this retails for $23. I'm not gonna open this because this is a loose powder and um, I have a lot of banana powder already that I use, but I, I love banana powder. I, one time I got banana powder from Lola and I was like, I'll never use this. Who uses ye yellow powder? And then I had to eat my words because now I brighten up my under eyes with banana powder every day. So I do, um, I will use this. I just am not gonna open it yet because I have some open already. Okay, the next thing is this. And this is a Ruby May Glossy AF. It retails for $18. This highly pigmented gloss has just released and you will be among the first to try it. I got a Ruby May eyeshadow quad. I think it's an eyeshadow quad. And it wasn't bad. It wasn't like my favorite thing I've ever used. But for an eyeshadow quad that normally I wouldn't pick up, I don't pick up little ones even though like I should because they're just as good as bigger palettes. But it's all about convenience for me. If I can find everything that I need in a palette, I will use that palette rather than using all my little ones. But I do use my little ones just not as often. But anyway, it wasn't that bad. I didn't think it was a bad palette. Okay, and this is in the shade San Francisco. So again, this is what it looks like, and let's see. I lo I've been loving gloss. Oh, that's more of like a, that's a full coverage gloss. This isn't like a sparkly gloss. This is like um, a really pretty opaque gloss. That's pretty. I will definitely wear that for sure. Okay, the next thing is this. Oh. And this is a Sonia Kashuk. Twist Up Long Wear Gel Eyeliner in Black Diamond. And this retails for $10. This long lasting twist up liner is perfect for your tight line or wings needed. I love eyeliner. I do, I love eyeliner. It's one of, my kid's sick. Um, it's one of my favorite, um, it's not, is it retractable? Let me see. I think it's, I think it is retractable because it says twist up. Doesn't that mean, usually mean like retractable? Okay. This is the eyeliner right here. And like I said, it's black. I believe it's black. Oh my, it came out. Look, look how much is, what? Please don't be broken already. Oh, there's glitter in it. Black diamond. Oh, look. Like, I, I pressed on it so flat, but it's already, like, it's smushing. So, that's going to be really hard to use. But, yeah, there's, like, little specks of glitter in there. You're not going to be able to see, I don't think, from my camera. But there are very small flecks of glitter. But I did not feel the glitter when I was putting it on my hand. So, that's good to know that you're not going to feel, like, the grittiness of the glitter. But it did fall out and then break so I'm gonna have to, you either have to use a very light touch with this and be careful it doesn't fall out but I'll definitely try it use it and see if I like it okay and the last but not least in here is the crown 16 color chroma palette this retails for $12 here it is I don't know if I have this I might have this already and if I do I'll have to put it away for a giveaway And crown brushes, crown palettes, crown makeup, anything that has to do with crown is very hit or miss. There's some really great things from them and then there's some like really awful stuff and I'm like, why did they create it? But who knows, this could be really nice. Oh, I don't have this at all. I don't have this one at all. This doesn't look bad. Okay, so it does have a nice mirror right here and here are the shades. Like this one, this one and that one look kind of like they're duochromes. That's a really nice gold. I will use this. 
I hope it's good because I'll definitely use this. I like the green. The green is really, really nice. It's like a, like a khaki green, army khaki-ish green. And remember, when you do swatches on your hands, it's not how... It's not going to be able to tell you how this eyeshadow is going to be able to perform on your face. You have to use your brushes or whatever technique you use to do an eyeshadow look. You have to use that technique to figure out if you like the palette or not. Um, but let's just, they feel really soft and some are very pigmented. The mattes aren't bad. They look like you can build them up pretty nice. Okay, so let's get some glitter. I mean, let's do some shimmers. That's pretty. Let's do the, I want to do this blue duo chromey one right here. Cause, oh, that one's kind of hard. Okay, let's put that one here. Oh, that's pretty. That one has like, I keep saying pretty. That one's like blue and purple together. I really like that. And this other one, this is like a goldish, no, reddish gold, like a sunset. That's what it is, it's like a sunset. All right, so there are some of the shades. We have the two duochrome shades that I was showing you, those shimmers. That one is really pretty. It's like a blue, a blue purple. You can see it in different ways that I move my hand. There's the green. There's that like burnt sienna shade. There's the other like peachy duochrome. And then there's the gold. They don't look bad. They don't look bad at all. All right, guys, so the total overall value of this box is $102, which I think for $18.99 is really good. Um, I think that the crown palette, which is only $12, is probably my favorite thing that's in the box. I'll definitely use this. Even if I don't use the whole entire palette, I'll definitely go into this palette for some of these shades. And who knows, maybe this palette is gonna be absolutely amazing or maybe it's gonna be horrible, but I will use it and try it. Um, what else did we get? Oh, we got the banana powder. I'll definitely, I'll definitely use this. I love banana powder. I think it's a great way to brighten up your under eyes. I like that. The Sonia Kashuk eyeliner, I'm a little disappointed in it because of the way that it fell out of the packaging and then it broke, but I'll try it again and see if I like it. Eyelashes. I'm not huge on eyelashes. I couldn't even get magnetic eyelashes to, to stay on my face. And I tried the magnetic eyelashes and yes, I was doing them wrong at first, but I did figure out that like the bottom lash line is not for the bottom, it's for the bottom underneath of your top lash. So you're supposed to sandwich them together, but it still didn't work. They still kept getting stuck on my outer lash line and falling off. So I don't know how I'll be with these, but these are super long and I think that these would be like too much for my face. I, what? I think these would be too much for my face. Like it, they look like, that's a lot of hair. Um, the Sorme Lip and Cheek color, I don't know about this color for my lips or my cheeks, but I'll definitely try it. Maybe I can use it as an eyeshadow. It doesn't seem like it's, oh, it kind of went to powder. Like I just went like this and it felt like powder. So I don't know, I'll have to try this out, figure out what I want to do with it. Um, what else did we get? Oh, we got the, um, the makeup remover towel. I'll try it, see if I like it. And we got the Ruby May lip gloss and I think the Ruby May lip gloss is beautiful. I, I, I love that color. So I think it was really good. I think this was, I think this was a really good box for $18.99. We got a lot of stuff, almost everything I'll use. So let me know what you thought about this box. Do you get Glow Addict? If you do get it, tell me what your thoughts are about it. How long have you been getting it? I'll be getting it for the next two, I'll be getting it again for two more months and then we can make the decision together if we're gonna keep it. But I thought it was really good and I thought that the overall value is really good. So I don't know, let me know in the comments below what you thought about this. Let me know if this is something you would try out for yourself. I hope everyone's having a really great day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll make sure to link everything in my description box below so you can go check it out for yourselves. I also have two giveaway, two giveaways going on on my channel right now and they're super easy to enter. You really just have to be subscribed. So go check those videos, go check out. those giveaways out if you have a chance. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so very much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.